Just getting ready to take off from uh, from the place where we have our dogs boarded, um, our rescue dogs, anyways. And right now we only have one dog here. We have Nico. We've had several, but uh, I just walked him over to the park and uh, had spent some time with him. We've had him for quite a while. Um, actually, February will be a year. And we've had several people uh, submit applications for him. But it looks like we finally got one that's probably going to go. Fortunately, this is someone that I actually know, that I've known for a while. And they don't live too far from me, so... <laughs> I get to see them every once in a while. I go in to see him in the mornings, and I don't know if he's happy to see me or I'm happy to see him. You know, obviously, I have my own dogs. I have my two Akitas, and then I have uh, another Akita female that I'm fostering. So I got kind of a full house. Otherwise, I would have Nico at my house. So, so I try to get up here um, pretty much every every morning. You know, I get up early in the morning, walk my dogs, and take care of them, and feed them, and and all that, and then. Uh, come up here and see him and, or uh, other dogs that we had here. Before we were boarding our dogs here, we had uh, another place that we used downtown, down by uh, by the airport. Really a crap, crappy place, but it was like half the cost. But it was more like a dog jail or prison than a, than a kennel. At least, just, at least this place it's actually pretty nice. They have him in like a little room with a with a window actually, and so he can watch things going on outside or uh, out in the aisleway. When we first got Nico, uh, he was pretty much a wild child. <laughs> he, was, he was pretty rowdy, and uh, we thought we were going to have trouble with him because uh, you know he was you know kind of not real dog friendly or and uh, not always friendly with with people either but we've had him here for a while since uh since march and uh he's interacted with lots of different people he's seen lots of other dogs and and in fact the family that uh that is adopting him hopefully uh, they they have two dogs now they have a female akita and then a smaller male mix but um, they just recently lost uh, an older male Akita so uh, their their girl is kind of feeling kind of lonely so they, they all seem to be doing pretty well together they've had several meet and greets and had to walk around in the park and, and uh, hang out so the next step um, early next week will be uh, a homestay so I'll take them out there and see how that goes. They've had Akitas before for for a really long time, so they know the whole deal and they already have crates and they know that they have to keep them separated when they're unsupervised, at least for a while. And I always advise people uh, to, to be very extra mindful when they bring a, a a new dog into the family because once they get to know each other better you know they become family they're less likely to uh, to injure one another at least uh, severely anyways unless they're like my girl my girl is just mean she's <laughs> she's hurt my boy a couple of times usually um, it's his fault he picks at her until she gets pissed off and, and then she you know bites him so I have a an errand I gotta do on the way home so depending on how the freeway looks and 
how cold it is or isn't and how I feel, I'll decide <laughs> uh, what route I'm going to take. I'm kind of inclined to take the long way around just because I just feel like riding. You know, I've had this bike now over three years, and um, my first one I had just over a year. It was a uh, Kawasaki Versus. Good bike. I mean, you could ride that for a long time, but I really like the Yamaha. I like the FJ09. And um, I'd been kind of looking around for different bikes and and such and and uh, preferably something with not too much plastic not too much fairing um, and shaft drive but the the super tenere comes to mind i kind of like those but i kind of kind of think i wouldn't mind having something like an old man bike <laughs> like a, a gold wing they're kind of heavy and big but I haven't done anything on it uh, because I've really not had any issues with this. Just got to, you know, clean and service the chain every 400 miles or so. I think the book says 500 or 600, I'm not sure, but I, I just do it every four. I already changed the, the, the chain and uh, sprockets once already and I did it myself. Um, I didn't make a video. I sure as heck wasn't going to try to do a how-to video on something that I've never done before but it was actually easier and cheaper than I thought it was going to be. And my original OEM chain, it wasn't worn out but several of the, of the links um, locked up. They just got stiff. And so the chain was making a whole lot of noise. Alright, well, I probably can't talk on the freeway, so...